Good afternoon, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today? It is Monday today, uh, July 25th. August, September, October, November, December. Five months today is Christmas Day. <laughs> Sorry, had to do that. Had to do it. I'm thinking, is today Christmas in July? Well, I guess it is. Um, but really, June 25th is six months halfway whatever so yeah five months today is christmas day just so you know <laughs> how are you all hope you had a great weekend uh leather bag lady weather report it's been windy thunderstorms rainy but hotter than hades oh my goodness it's cooled down today uh quite cloudy leather bag lady weather report and uh, I'm going to go and sit in the deck in a little bit. While this video is uploading, I'm going to go and sit out on my deck. You better believe I am. So today's bag, before I start talking to you about what I did over the weekend, um, today's bag is absolutely gorgeous. Um, last week I didn't, I think I only posted two bags last week because I am kind of getting to the end of my bags now I did go thrifting with my sister on Friday and I did pick up about 13 or 14 purses not all of them are vintage but this one is now Aldo back in the day was the spot for leather purchase shoes bags whatever and they were also the house brand for Le Chateau back in the 80s um, Calderon was a little bit of a more mature ladies uh, leather goods store but Aldo was where I shopped in the 80s and the purses were magnificent they absolutely were I've got about four vintage Aldo bags um, two small black ones uh, two brown ones one of which is going out today and now this is going to replace the one that's going out. So I'm back to having four. And then there was another brand, Stone Mountain, which was um, an Aldo brand as well. Now I think I've got one of those. They are very hard to find. The Stone Mountain ones are almost impossible to find. And um, the Aldo ones, the leather. Well, let me just show you. Look at this beauty isn't it gorgeous now it's very reminiscent where is oh here it is um it's very reminiscent of my little pouch that i bought when i was 16 from um calderon the trend which we've had many conversations about the trend but it's just the same fantastic leather quality you've got your compartments Oh, it's beautiful. Now, I've had to do a little bit recoloring on the trim. But look at that. There's your Aldo. It has a couple of card holder things here and something for a pen or pencil. No foam pouches, obviously, because we're talking uh, 80s here. There is a zipper compartment in the back, and then the middle uh, compartment actually does zip up. The smell of leather on this thing is beautiful. You've got a slip pocket in the front and you also have a zipper pocket on the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six places where you can put your shit. So super, super, super long. I mean, this is like crazy long. Um, I'm all over the place here. I haven't even done the listing yet. I'm thinking, why don't I know how long the strap drop is? My head's up my ass today. Sorry, but it is. It is a 27 and a half inch strap drop. Obviously, there are other holes, so you can shorten it if you want. But it is crazy long. So, yeah, I was just about to do the listing and I've ended up doing the video <laughs> because I want to get outside. That's why. So, anyway, beautiful, beautiful vintage 1980s 
mahogany brown aldo no stress in the no uh damage in the stress points of the flap the smell of leather is just magnificent the hardware is all brass quality people quality so that's today's bag which hasn't been listed yet but it will be listed by the time this video is up and running so flies again in my house i don't know what the hell's going on in here and some big suckers too so so gross i hate living here i hate it um not spending that much time here these days i must say i'm at pius's house most of the time which is lovely um what do we do on the weekend uh friday friday didn't get home till later so we just had dinner and kind of hung out at home in the driveway got our chairs out the stereo out just had a great time saturday we went to maitland shores trailer park and we had a fantastic afternoon with um connie and mike uh friends of mine who um we went to the wineries with not last summer but the summer before they made the most beautiful meal we didn't get there till later i took both my kids to see uh, my mom and dad in the morning we had a good scottish breakfast our potato scones and square sausages it felt like christmas morning that's the only time that's the only time really that we get that uh breakfast because it's not very healthy but um no fried bread or anything like that just uh bacon square sausage egg and uh potato scone it was wonderful it was a quick visit because we had to get back and we took the bike to uh, maitland shores it was wonderful i didn't reach out to anybody i didn't know um haven't really heard from anybody at the park so i thought you know what I'm not going to make a nuisance of myself. So I took Pius for a bit of a walk. I wanted to show him. And we passed a bunch of people who were like, you were going to be here and not say hello to us. And I just said, I, I don't want to make any trouble. Um, Bruce's girlfriend was very adamant that she did not want me at the park. And I kind of get it in some regards, but it's a public place. So I can go wherever I want. But I didn't want to make any trouble. But I did end up seeing some great people that I really did have good friendships with and um, it was great we were there for I we got there about 2 30 and we left about 7 because we had to get home before it got dark and then yesterday we went to see um, Pius's new granddaughter and that was lovely this chick hands and knees in the dirt with a dress on just saying, these kids were just having the time of their lives and Pius had bought them some uh, sand toys because you can't buy the new baby something and not have something for the other kids. So we did that and then we just kind of hung out at home. We, uh, by the time we got back and what else did we do? Oh, I'm babysitting. I'm dog sitting. Oh my goodness, I forgot about that. This little thing was going to bite my fingers off yesterday morning. Because, of course, mom and dad aren't home. So I visit, and the dog thinks I'm great. But when mom and dad aren't home, bag lady's not so great. So I didn't get to walk him yesterday morning, but I did get to walk him uh, last evening. And um, I was supposed to stay there, but I didn't. I came home because I just, I couldn't stay in the apartment. So I came home. And then went back first thing this morning and we had a real long walk. I'm not going to the gym this week. I, My knees are sore and I'm actually finding that my knees are sore because of the few stairs that Pius has in his house. Which is, I don't know, uh, my mom and dad sold their house because my mom's been struggling with the stairs for years. And I must say my knees hurt. So not so much going up the stairs, but coming down the stairs. So, and there's really not that many stairs, but I'm finding that my knees are sore. So I'm going to take the week off, walked, big walk this morning. My shins are sore. So I'm just going to take a break from the gym this week. Still not back with my clients today. I don't know when that will be getting back online. The facility is shut down with COVID. Um, my clients weren't affected, thank goodness, but... 
out of safety's sake, they've closed the whole facility down. And that's about it. Today, I'm just doing my regular thing and um, we'll be heading back up on the mountain to have dinner and hang out with my lovely man and um and that is it so kind of living the dream a little bit so uh oh and i got a leather vest um when did we go wednesday we went to uh port dover and we played mini putt and i got a leather vest while well, saturday heading out to maitland shores i had it on i had to take it off it was so hot and then on the way home i did wear it so it's beautiful beautiful nice soft leather my honey bought it for me so it was a very greatly appreciated addition to my non-existent biker gear stash mind you pamela has given me a pair of chaps and a jacket but i don't know they're not mine and they're not very soft so i don't know we'll see we'll see how it goes anyway everybody i am now going to go and list this bag and then i will upload the video and i hope you're all having a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? Bye.